Hey guys, I just read something that I had to share with you. Um, sorry, I look terrible. I just woke up a little while ago. <laughs> um, been running errands. But I've really been pondering the last few days about, man, the hostility that people have towards the grace of God. When you give somebody the good news of God's grace, that he shed the blood of his son to bring you know, undeserved mercy to the world, to sinners, to wretched people, to wicked people, and that all you have to do is receive that free gift and all of your sin is blotted out from as far as the east is from the west. You can't do anything to earn it. God doesn't expect you to do anything to earn it. There's nothing that you can do to be made worthy <clears throat> by your own efforts. Um, it is totally righteousness granted to you by faith, um, by believing. And uh, when people hear this good news, they get really angry. <laughs> they get really, really angry. And, you know, I've often pondered why that is. Why is it that somebody brings good news, good tidings like this, and people respond with rage and anger and um you know they did it to jesus they did it to paul um and the true ministers of god's grace today uh you know we receive the same and i was watching a video on the topic and somebody wrote a comment that is just spot on and i wanted to quote it to you he said imagine that you've spent your entire christian life trying to climb over a giant wall by your own effort and somebody comes by and says that you've wasted all of your time trying to climb that wall because there's a door right next to you that's unlocked. And your entire life that you've spent trying to muscle your way over that wall has been wasted. Imagine how you would respond. <laughs> and it brought me to John chapter 10. It reminded me of what Jesus says in John chapter 10 that he's surrounded by thieves and robbers. People trying to climb into the kingdom by some other way other than by the gate. And that what this person said is so true. That's exactly what it is. There are so many people who have spent their entire lives trying to muscle their way into the kingdom. Torturing themselves, trying to give up everything, starving themselves to death. You know, spending, torturing them their, themselves with every you know, thing that they enjoy, trying to cut out everything that they that gives them any kind of fun in their lives, um, beating themselves up, beating themselves to death, trying to slave under the law in order to be made right with God. And then somebody comes by and says that all of that was a waste of time, that it was all by God's grace um, and nothing, none of that was ever required and that you're wasting your time doing that. Imagine how mad you'd be. <laughs> And uh, yeah, guys, I, you know, it makes, it just makes so much sense. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. <clears throat> there are so many people that are trying to get into the kingdom by some other way, just as Jesus says in John chapter 10. Guys, I encourage all of you today, make it your daily reading. Go and read John chapter 10, the whole chapter. Read it from verse one to the end and really listen to Jesus's words there. Understand what he's saying understand that when he refers to the gate that he's referring to himself and when he refers to the thieves and robbers he's referring to all those people who are trying to get into god's kingdom by some other way i want you to imagine a kingdom and that kingdom surrounded by a big old wall right and there's one little teeny tiny gate and everybody is lining up trying to climb over that wall that big wall and nobody trying to line up to get through the gate that's what Jesus is talking about in John chapter 10. Jesus is that gate. That's why it's a narrow gate. There's only one way in and everyone's trying to get in some other way. Um, and they spend their whole lives trying to muscle their way in by their own efforts, by their ability to keep the law, repenting of all their sins, torturing themselves, starving themselves. Golly, man, I've heard some stories of the things people are trying to do to get into the kingdom of God. And God made it so simple and so easy, but people don't want to go that way. Because in order to go that way, they have to put down their pride. They have to admit that they can't do it by themselves, that they needed to come in by somebody else. They needed to get on the lifeboat, but they just want to keep on swimming in that storm. 
they're caught in that flood, that storm, and they're swimming and they're swimming and they're swimming to keep themselves afloat. Somebody throws them the life raft and they say, no, sir, no, thank you. I'm going to swim. And they're exhausted and they're spending all this time trying to keep themselves above water trying to swim and keep their, their head just above water that they can breathe. And there's a lifeboat sitting right next to them. They say, no, sir, I don't want that. And they keep swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming. And you've got two options. You're either going to come to the end of yourself and get on that dang lifeboat, or you're going to drown and you're going to die. And it's really sad the Bible says that most people are going to choose to drown and die before they reach out for the grace of God. And while I'm trying to be funny here and trying to make a joke, there ain't nothing funny about this. Because there's going to be people that die today, a lot of people that die today, who have chosen to drown rather than receive the free gift of God. Many of those people will be people who call themselves Christians. And it's very sad. Because God desires that none should perish. And he made it so simple and so easy. But people just don't want to take that lifeboat. They want to insist on doing it themselves. And it's really, really, really sad. I love you guys.